Hey everybody, it's your boy LeBay of Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor if you haven't done so already. If this is your second or more time to my channel, go down below, like, and subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about every time I drop a video to YouTube. I don't want you guys missing anything. I don't want you guys left out of the equation. So go down below, like, and subscribe. Thank you. I truly do appreciate you guys. All right, guys, let's keep the ball rolling today. Today is part three of my deep dive into Benigna Parfums. I will link in the description below my previous two videos to their fragrances. Today is going to be part three on Benigna Parfums, and this is going to be a review on Escape Velocity. Now, Escape Velocity came out in 2021. The nose behind the fragrance, the incomparable and masterful Cecile Zarokian. The notes behind the fragrance, we have white rose, Bulgarian rose, lemon, bergamot, orris butter, sheer musk, heliotrope, and resinous woods. As you guys know by now, the presentation, this is a 75 ml bottle, is in the shape of a diamond. This is thick, beautiful, hard glass. This is a crystal stopper. Around the crystal stopper on the neck is seven Swarovski crystals. This is a 24 karat gold plated neck. And on the front of the bottle, we have the Benigna logo, which is pure gold. They did not spare any expense with this presentation, guys. If you guys want a showpiece for your collection, all you have to do, look no further than Benigna Parfums. All right, so this is my scent of the day. I will give a fresh spray on the hand so that I can be reminded of the opening. These sprayers are beautiful. They work very, very well. The atomizers are great. And what you're going to find in the opening, the white rose and the Bulgarian rose shine on the first spray. They absolutely are magnificent. They're bright. They're effervescent. They're just standout. You are going to be thrilled with the brightness of this fragrance upon the first spray. Um, this screams floral. This screams citrus. This screams summer. This is summer in a bottle. I imagine myself on a Mediterranean cruise, my Mediterranean cruise of two years ago. I've spoken about that in previous videos. This would be the perfect fragrance to be on a cruise ship with, let me tell you, my goodness. Um, both citruses, the lemon and the bergamot, greet the rose at the exact same time, so it's a citrus and floral party. Um, I imagine myself running through a citrus grove picking lemons and oranges while holding bouquets of uh, red and white roses. Uh, that is the visualization I get here. It is truly a fascinating, fascinating opening. Bright, floral, citrusy. It's amazing. You guys are going to love it. Um, the orris butter adds a very smooth, seductive, and velvety component to the citruses. It's not just a bright, punch in your face citrus no it's a bright smooth citrus you know this citrus knows what it wants this citrus is cool calm collected this is a very smooth citrus laid out with the orris butter it matches in heavenly perfection um, about 30 minutes into the fragrance i know exactly what i'm going to get the resinous woods are going to come out to play um, which brings a slightly, slightly darker and deeper essence to the fragrance. Now, this never goes into dark territory, um, but the resinous woods do give a deeper facet to the citruses, which I find truly um, kind of kind of sexy, kind of sophisticated. You know, it, it's, it's one thing to have just a straight citrus fragrance. That's good. But if you have a citrus fragrance that delves into a deeper, darker territory, that's fascinating. That's kind of cool to me. Um, and I, I like that transition phase because it's, it's kind of like, oh, well, we have our regular citrus fragrance. That's great. But if that citrus turns into something a little bit different, that's intoxicatingly uh, great to my mind. So that does happen. It's kind of like, you know, oh, we're running through this citrus grove, picking up the citruses with roses in our hands, but then we get a call on our cell phone that, you know, we get some bad news. Maybe we didn't get the job we put in for. Maybe our kid, you know, 
did something wrong, is having a party at the house when he's not supposed to be, when we're on vacation, you know, that type of news comes into play here with the citrus or with the uh, resinous woods that come out to play here. It gives it a deeper, a little bit darker twinge to the fragrance. Um, the fragrance also speaks to the desire to break free from what holds us back um, and inspires the never ending quest to master what appears impossible. Now, let me speak to that for a second because I have had more than my fair share of situations where I thought something was impossible because of my disability. Um, I thought that my dating life would never take off <laughs> because I was disabled and walked with the crutches and couldn't do a lot of the things that other people were doing. Um, I thought that I could never be athletic. Uh, I thought that, you know, I would be held back in my life at some points, not at every time, but at some points because of my disability. Now, eight and a half years in, I've been married. Um, I am athletic to a point, you know, I do go on, you know, 5k walks. I, I, I have my little gym in the basement downstairs. Uh, so I, I do keep, you know, in shape, you know, my wife does, you know, force me uh, on some level to to keep in shape and to keep active and things like that. And so the fragrance, you know, do, does break free, has me break free from my mindset sometimes. I'm not in a good place all the time, y'all. I'm just not. As humans, we're not in great places all the time. We're not in the, the great, the positive, the happy mindset all the time. But Escape Velocity helps me escape to a different place. It helps me escape to a positive place, to a brighter place. You know, yeah, I am going to have that deeper, darker mindset sometimes, like the resinous woods in this fragrance that come out to play sometimes. Yeah, I do go to that place in my mind. However, like the bright citruses in this fragrance, I have to come back to that brighter mindset, that more positive mindset, that mindset that says, you know what, I'm going to live my life. I'm going to do what I want to do. I have to do what I want to do. I have to get out there. I have to go to work. I have to, you know, run errands. I have to live my life. And that's what I want to convey for myself and for my brothers and sisters in the disabled community as well. Get out there, live your life in a bright fashion. Your light shines, my light shines, your light shines, make your light shine. If your light is not shining right now, get into that positive headspace, talk to someone that will get you into that positive headspace to make your light shine because you matter, you matter, you matter, you matter down there, you matter over there, and no matter where you are, no matter what disability you have, whether it's physical, whether it's mental, whether it's invisible, you matter and escape velocity matters as well. It's going to definitely matter in my collection. I want to thank again, Benigna Parfums for the honor of reviewing your fragrances. Thank you so much. I truly do appreciate you guys. That is my time. I'm not going to drag this video on forever. Just know that you have an advocate. You have an ally in me. If you ever need me, my email is in the description of every video. My Instagram is in the description of every video. Send me an email. Send me a DM. I am more than happy to respond to you. Wherever you are, whoever you are, if you're in a deeper, darker headspace, I'm going to try to get you out of it. And I know there are people in your lives that will try to get you out of it as well. Do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you, Benigna Parfums. I appreciate all of you. Go down below, like, and subscribe, and I'll check you next time.